Good morning, candidates. A candidate has asked a doubt regarding, say, uh, a discussion on socio-economic issues. The I came across an article from economicshelp.org. So let me tell you the few important points from this. Since 1991, the Indian economy has pursued free market liberalization, greater openness in trade and increased investment in infrastructure. This helped the Indian economy to achieve a rapid rate of economic growth and economic development. However, the economy still faces various problems and challenges such as corruption, lack of infrastructure, poverty in rural areas, and poor tax collection rates. India's GDP per capita in US dollar is dollar 2277 in the year 2021. It was less than 100 or so in the year 1960 now rated at this, but of course the economic inflation is there. In 2002, it seems it was $500. Now it is 2,277. Of course, there is inflation. The money has lost its value. What is 500 in 2002 is worth more than this 2,277. The issues that are forcing our economy are unemployment. Unemployment is a major issue that is facing our country, powered by, followed by poor educational standards, poor infrastructure. Of course, a lot of improvement is taking place in the matter of roads, power, etc. But still, there is infrastructure development required. Balance of payment deterioration. Balance of payment is um, having an issue. Always our balance of payment, it, India's current percentage of GDP, it is minus 1% as on 2020. Then Indian rupee to United States dollar also loses its value steadily. The Indian rupee has been losing its value. High levels of private debt. Buoyed by property boom, the amount of lending in India has grown by 30 percent in the past year. So there is a lot of private debt. Inequality has risen rather than decreasing. It is not decreasing, it is only increasing. The rich are becoming richer, the poor are becoming poorer. More than 78 million homes do not have electricity. 33 percent of the population live less on one dollar per day. Furthermore, the spread of television in Indian villages, the poor are increasingly aware of the disparity between rich and poor. They are able to know. Large budget deficit, government debt as percentage of GDP. Government debt as percentage of GDP. Um, India's, um, it is shown less, from 80, it is shown as above it came to 90, it has come down to 88 or so in the year 2022. India has one of the largest budget deficits in the de developing world. Excluding subsidies, it amounts to nearly 8% of GDP. Although it has fallen a little in the past year, it still shows little scope for increasing investment in public services like health and education. India also only manages to collect 12% of GDP in tax, making it one of the lowest in the world. A rigid labor laws. As an example, firms employing more than 100 people cannot fire workers without government permission. The effect of this is to discourage firms from expanding to over 100 people. Inefficient agriculture. Agriculture produces 17.54% of economic output but over 51% of the workforce are employed in agriculture. This is the most inefficient sector of the economy and reform has proved slow. These are not my comments. These are comments as given in this article. Poor tax collection rates, then business difficulties. According to World Bank, the ease of doing business in India is poor. India ranks 130 out of 190. 
ease of enforcing contracts, dealing with construction contracts, paying taxes, trading across border, inequality with regions. India's economic growth has benefited some regions more than others. Technological hubs such as Delhi and Mumbai have attracted higher paying jobs. This has attracted inflow of most mobile and skilled workers. This has created congestion in these super cities, but failed to address the poverty of rural areas, especially Northeast. Rising oil prices, crude oil, of course, it has come down a little now. Um, as a net importer of oil, India's economy is sensitive to increases in the price of oil, that is crude oil. Russian-Ukraine crisis is another impact that has created. Indian-Russian trade amounted to $8.1 billion, around 1% of Indian trade. India's exports were $2.6 billion, while imports from Russia amounted to $5.48 billion. Since 2022 invasion of Ukraine by Russia, India has been caught in the crossfire of international sanctions against Russia. Indian importers are struggling to get paid because the ban on swift international payments. In particular, India is reliant on the imports of military equipment and components for military hardware, with Russia accounting for 50% of India's armaments. So these are the references are Inflation in India at Economist, Indian Overheats, Inequality in Indian Economy, India and its Segregated Growth by Alex M. Thomas. So these are the points. Thank you so much. We will meet again.